This is the story of Topsy, a female circus elephant who suffered a lot of abuse over the years. But after she finally struck back, she was sentenced to death by electrocution. Her story is incredibly sad and disturbing but one that is needed to be shared in honor and memory of this particular elephant and many other animals who have been abused in the name of entertainment for humans. Topsy was likely born in Southeast Asia around 1875 but she didn't have long to enjoy life in the wild. Smugglers captured her as a young baby. She was bought by Adam Forpaugh, owner of the Forpaugh Circus which was in direct competition with the Barnum and Bailey Circus, who had the most and largest elephants. Adam illegally advertised the baby as the first elephant born in America. The elephant trader who sold Topsy to Forpaugh also sold elephants to Barnum and tipped them off about the deception. Barnum exposed the hoax publicly and Forpaugh had to stop his fraudulent claim. He still advertised her as the first elephant born outside a tropical zone. Like many circus performers at the time, she was subject to harsh treatment during training sessions. Trainers of the time were vicious towards the animals in their attempt to control them, prodding the elephants with sharp hooks between the eyes and head. Beatings, hot pokers and even guns were common methods of training. On the morning of April 27, 1902, a drunk man named James Fielding Blount wandered into the tent where all elephants were tied and he began teasing them by offering them a bottle of whiskey. He reportedly threw sand in Topsy's face and then burned the extremely sensitive tip of her trunk with a lit cigar. The enraged Topsy threw Blount to the ground with her trunk and then crushed him with her foot and killed him. The publicity generated by Topsy's man-killing brought very large crowds to the circus to see the elephant. In June 1902, another man tried to tickle Topsy behind her ear with her stick. She seized the man around the waist with her trunk, hoisted him high in the air and threw him down before a handler was able to stop her. The man eventually survived, but the owners of the circus decided to sell Topsy since she was bringing bad press to the circus. Paul Boyden, owner of Coney Island Sea Lion Park, bought Topsy and her handler William Alt came along with her to work at the park. But the business went south and was purchased by Frederick Thompson and Elmer Dundee who renamed it to Luna Park. Topsy was used in publicity, moving timbers and an amusement ride in the park. During one such move, a drunk William Alt stabbed Topsy with a pitchfork trying to get her to pull the amusement ride. Over the next few months, Chopsy became unmanageable for Alt and he was eventually fired from the park. Without him to handle Topsy, the owners of Luna Park could no longer manage her and they tried to sell her. But due to the bad press associated with her over the recent months, there were no buyers. Stuck with an elephant they no longer wanted and always in search for the next spectacle, the owners of Luna Park announced the impending execution of the elephant. They were originally planning to hang her in public, but the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals prevented the hanging by claiming that the method was unnecessarily cruel. The owners then agreed to switch to a more sure method of execution, a mix of poison, strangulation and electrocution. Some believe that Topsy's electrocution may have been set in motion because of a war fought between Thomas Edison and George Westinghouse and Nikola Tesla. This was the War of Currents, a long-running battle over which man would control the American electricity system. Edison pitched his own invention of the direct current while Westinghouse believed in alternating current which Nikola Tesla had developed. Edison was aware that the acceptance of direct current would earn him hefty patent royalties. As Westinghouse started setting up alternating current generators around the country, Edison started to get worried and initiated a desperate propaganda campaign to discredit Westinghouse and the alternating current. Part of this great game involved Edison staging live electrocution events in which he used AC power to kill stray dogs, horses and cattle to make the point that his rival's current was too heinously dangerous for public usage. Despite all the shenanigans, Edison lost the war of currents and alternating current became mainstream. 
but that couldn't stop one more act of cruelty. On the day of Topsy's death, hundreds of spectators and press came out to witness the event. Newspaper accounts of the event noted that Topsy refused to cross the bridge over the lagoon where she was supposed to be electrocuted, ignoring prodding and bribes of carrots and apples. The owners of Luna Park then tried to get William Ald, who refused to watch the killing and declined an offer of $25 to coax her to her death, saying that he wouldn't do it for $1,000. The owners had to re-rig the strangling apparatus and electrical wiring to where Topsy stood. She was also fed carrots laced with potassium cyanide while copper-clad electrodes connected to electric lines were strapped to her feet. Topsy tried to shake off the electrode on her right forefoot and then stood still. At that point, she stiffened as 6,600 volts of alternating current was applied to her body. Once the switch was flipped, smoke rose from her feet and it took just 10 seconds before Topsy fell over and died. Some would describe the smell like that of burning flesh, others of burning hoof. The pain must have been excruciating and her huge form shook violently. The many witnesses to the electrocution concurred that Topsy had died without making a sound. After she fell, the noose tied around Topsy's neck was tightened for the next 10 minutes. Only then, when she had been triply killed and there was not the slightest chance that she was alive, did the three veterinary surgeons approach and pronounce her dead. The direct involvement of Edison in the electrocution of Topsy has been put into question. While the company he set up had a major part to play in the arrangements to electrocute Topsy, Edison was not a part of the company at that point and was never physically present at Coney Island at the time of her execution. Additionally, the War of Currents ended 10 years before with Edison on the losing side. This is just one of the examples of torture that animals have undergone for the sake of human entertainment. The story of Topsy is not an isolated one. In 1916, an elephant named Mary was hanged to death in Tennessee after she killed her handler. Another Indian elephant named Chuni, who was taken to London as a show animal, was killed by shooting after he became increasingly enraged towards the end of his life after suffering a lifetime of abuse. And there is a more recent story of the elephant Tyke, who was shot 87 times after she killed her trainer and escaped the circus trying to run for freedom. In all the cases, the elephants were abused for years before they snapped and acted against their cruel handlers. Thank you for watching, and if you found the video interesting, hit the like button and consider subscribing to Seanvolution for more such content.